Hi, welcome into my studio. Just finished this new pastel drawing. I've got the full length videos up on my Patreon channel. It's a couple of hours long, packed with techniques, keeping the luminosity in your pastels, showing how I blend, get the veins in there, and also draw that very realistic B. On this short video on YouTube, I'm gonna show you exactly how I get the base tones and the base colors in for one of the flowers. So hope you enjoy it, hope you find it of use. Okay, so let's slow it down again and we'll see another one. I said it is a little bit repetitive, but you, I want to show you how I actually do these. Lots of artists do these videos and all they show is all parts of the video, really fast time lapse, speed it up, and it's difficult to actually see what's going on there. When I've got things like this, like flowers, I like to slow it down, show you exactly how I do it, then I can speed it up. Once you've got that technique, you've seen what I've done, I can speed it up on the other ones. It's almost duplicated. So once again, I say it again, little circular strokes. I want the blend. I'm putting the white down first because I need this to be a lighter purple than the pencil I've got. The white will also help it to blend because I'm putting a layer of pastel down. We can't see it on the paper, but it's down on there. Then I can come back in with my purple color. Small strokes again. knowing that because that white is under there it's going to blend even more easily than if I was building layers on top. I'm using quite a light stroke, I'm not depositing much pastel down on there, I don't need much colour, especially on this bottom section. A bit more blue here, it's more of a blue purple. So I haven't got the blue purple, so I'll use a bit of blue, I'll use a bit of purple. I know I'm not putting too much down, and I know I can come back in with white and lighten all this. This pastel matte paper, remember, will take many, many layers as long as you don't put too much pastel down. Circular strokes again. Blending with my little finger. That's starting to look quite good. So that's the first layer of blending. And then I'll come back in, a bit more refinement to it. So I'll add in another layer here and there. And then a bit more blending again. You can see it's gone even smoother now. We've got more pastel down on there. The tones, if you squint and look at the screen, you can see it's getting closer now to the reference photo as well. On this back section, I've got some shadow area. So I'm going back in with that purple pencil. Getting that tone in first and coming back in with that blue. And I can easily lighten this up just by putting a small amount of white on top. 
You can see it glazing using the side of the pencil as I've showed you before. A brilliant way of just tinting the colour on various areas. And you don't have to be hyper realistic. Don't worry too much if the colours are not exactly perfect. And I'm going to really refine these later on. And with that petal done, I can now move across, start on the next one. So same technique. So now you've seen the techniques, now I can speed it up a bit because you know exactly how I'm creating this three-dimensional form to each petal.